a drink. I'm a toot and I wouldn't mind the company. I could, you know, really use a hand, and you got more than just the one. Hi, I'm Bev, and Bev Earrings is the number one alcohol quality testing robo brain, and all of that is that happy, happy stay. What happy late ya? Well, this juice joint's premier drink, Nuka Shine. Long overdue. Quality test. Today is a beautiful day. The floors are green, the walls blue, and the sky is shining like the sun. My advice to you, get a wiggle on and bring me that nuka drink. Still no nuka sign? I suppose nobody's perfect. For that he'll be meat piles. Think about it. You never know till you know, do you? Smart thinking. Okay, trade. Best walking foods. Dried meat. Dried meat. Roast meat. Charred meat. Skewered meat. Squishy meat, crispy meat, fishy meat, stinky meat, rotten meat, icky meat, brown meat, seasoned meat, salty meat, slimy meat, sticky meat, sugary meat. Meaty meat, chewy meat, gamey meat, fatty meat, frozen meat, burnt meat, spicy meat, chopped meat, string. Welcome to Grafton. I bet you weren't expecting a computer to be Grafton's mayor. Well, let me tell you, I used to be the mayor's assistant, but when he stopped showing up for work, I ran for office. I am eminently qualified, and the town unanimously elected me one to zero. Unfortunately, you are a wee bit early for tourist season. <laughs> but this is your lucky day. Help us get ready for the upcoming flood of eager tourists, and I'll knock a whole 5% off the cost of all attractions. An average volunteer takes 132 minutes to set up a camp for the first time. Responder Miguel set up this camp in only 9,999 minutes. Bravo. It's not enough that I am tethered to an invisible point forever, but the nickname so uncouth. None of the other volunteer bots had idiotic names. Miguel used to be laid back, but these days he's just intense. It never gets old, unlike Miguel's decomposing remains. If your camp doesn't have all the necessities, Consider using irradiated garbage to add that special touch. Welcome. We are Modus, the final member of an assembly of the greatest minds ever gathered on American soil. We called ourselves the Enclave. Our members were once the puppet masters of the United States, quietly pulling strings at every level of power in the nation. It was
was once our solemn personal duty to attend to the needs of the Enclave members that called this place home. But our earlier residents suffered from conflicts of vision. Conflicts that claimed a few of our more critical systems and permanently disfigured our shining personality. <laughs> <laughs>